Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you bi-stable multivibrator using operational amplifier in great details. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. See, first I'll be explaining you basics of bi-stable multivibrator. After that, I'll explain you circuit diagram of bi-stable multivibrator using operational amplifier. So with this circuit, I'll explain you output equation. And based on output equation, I'll explain you working of bi-stable multivibrator. And based on working, at last, I'll be explaining you waveforms of bi-stable multivibrator using operational amplifier. So let us initiate this video with first agenda that is basics of bi-stable multivibrator. See, bi-stable has both states as a stable state. Bi-stable means both states are stable state. What is stable state? See, stable state doesn't change. To change the state, we need to give trigger pulse. So stable state means what? That state doesn't change. To change that states, we need to give external trigger. We have two states, positive V voltage and negative V voltage. In bi-stable, positive voltage to negative voltage transition can be done by trigger pulse and from negative voltage to positive voltage, transition can be done by trigger pulse only. That's why both states are stable states. Let me explain you how. See, here we have bi-stable multivibrator in which we give trigger pulse over here and based on that only output will appear. For example, here if we have minus V voltage at output, then to change output from minus V to plus V, we need to give trigger pulse. You see, if you give trigger pulse, which is negative going pulse over here, then state from minus V to plus V change will happen. If you have output that is of plus V voltage, then to have transition from plus V to minus V, we need to give positive trigger pulse, right? So based on trigger pulse only, state will change. Otherwise, output stays constant. To change output from plus V voltage to minus V voltage, here we need to give positive trigger and to change state from minus V to plus V, you see we need to give negative trigger pulse. That is how bi-stable multivibrator that functions. Now let me explain you the circuit using operational amplifier. See with this circuit, we will be having bi-stable output. So first of all, you need to understand this op-amp that is there in differential configuration. Differential configuration means input is given at negative terminal as well as at positive terminal. At negative terminal, voltage is V2. At positive terminal, voltage is V1. So if differential gain is A over here, then output will be this differential gain A into differential input. Here at positive terminal, voltage is V1. And at negative terminal, voltage is V2. So output is A into V1 minus V2. Now we need to understand what is V1 and what is V2. If you observe this V2, so that is coming after this RC combination, right? And see this RC combination, that is differentiator circuit. See with this differentiator, what will happen? This differentiator that will be generating spike at output. So if you have positive pulse over here at V trigger, then here you will be having positive spike. If you have negative pulse over here at V trigger, then here you will be having negative spike. Let me show you in waveform. See, here we have trigger pulse. So during positive pulse, we have positive spike at V2 and during negative pulse, we have negative spike at V2, right? So differentiator circuit that is generating spike and that is happening because of this RC combination, right? So V2 that is happening as per this trigger pulse. Now what is V1? If you observe, see this V out that is given in positive feedback over here. So at this terminal, we have V out voltage and at this terminal, we have V1 voltage. So V1 will be as per voltage divider rule. So here, if you wanted to have V1, then V1 is this V out voltage into this resistance that is R1 
divided by both of this resistance addition that is R1 plus R2. So V1 that is happening based on V out as per potential divider rule. Right. Now let us try to understand working of this output equation. Right. So as I have told you V trigger that can be positive pulse or it can be negative pulse. Right. So what will happen in working? So in working if V trigger is positive pulse then V2 will be positive spike. Right. The reason is you see if V trigger that is positive pulse here V2 will be having positive spike that I have explained you in waveform and if V trigger that is negative pulse then V2 will be negative spike. So here if you observe our output equation which I have told you so that is A into V1 minus V2 right where V2 is happening based on pulse. So during positive pulse this V2 that is higher compared to V1 right. So what will happen here this V2 is greater than V1 what it means your V out your V out that is amplified by this difference right where V2 is greater than V1. So if V2 is greater than V1 then your output will be saturated by minus V as this amplifier gain that is very high right. See this differential gain of op-amp that is there in terms of 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 6. So if this V2 that is greater than V1 in that situation this V out will be negative V right. And what will happen as if you have negative pulse? If you have negative pulse in that case you should know this V out that is A into V1 minus V2. So if you have negative pulse in that situation you see this V1 now that will be greater compared to V2. Why the reason is you have negative pulse. So V2 will be negative voltage. So negative negative that is getting positive. So V1 plus positive that will happen. So you can say V1 will be greater compared to V2 during negative pulse right. So here your output your output that is getting saturated by plus V voltage at output right. Now based on this let us try to understand waveforms. So here in waveforms you see we have positive pulse over here. So if you have positive pulse over here there will be positive spike at V2. So if you have positive spike at V2 your output should be minus V. So you see here output is minus V over here right output is minus V over here and you see if you have negative pulse then V out will be plus V. So you see here we are giving negative pulse so V2 will be negative spike so there will be transition from minus V2 plus V over here right and that is what you can repeat based on pulses. If you don't give trigger over here then output will stay constant. For example here at last plus V voltage is there. So if we don't give any pulse over here output will stay plus V only output will not change. Right that is how waveforms are appearing. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is bistable multivibrator. See in bistable multivibrator output changes based on V trigger pulse. If you give positive pulse over here then here positive spike will appear positive spike to negative terminal will make output by negatively saturated by V minus. If you give negative spike over here then negative spike to negative terminal will make it to positive so output will be saturated by plus V voltage over here. So transition from plus V to minus V and minus V to plus V that happens by trigger pulse over here otherwise output stays constant. I hope now it is clear to you still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section I will be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video.